May the Lord bless you, brethren. This is Enrique Agustin, one of the two managers of the ministry, A Call and Warning from the Lord. I want to read to you a very important testimony from a brother in Brazil. His name is Nathan Rocha. It is a confirmation of the judgment and a very serious warning. And it reads thus. Testimony of Brother Nathan Rocha, Brazil. A tremendous revelation. Difficult days are coming to humanity. I'll tell you in detail how it all started. Four months ago in the afternoon, I was rehearsing one of the songs for my first music CD that I am recording. I was talking about the return of Jesus, and it came to pass that while I was rehearsing this music, I started to talk with God and to cry with emotion, because it was a very emotional and anointed song, and because it is a moment awaited by those who love the Lord's coming. I immediately was in the presence of the Lord, and He took hold of my lips. He began to talk about terrible things that are about to happen. And then the place was brightened, and His presence was so strong that I felt my bones burn with the fire of the Spirit, and I felt as if I could not endure so much glory. But before I tell you His message, may the Holy Spirit confirm it to all of you. And the Lord said, Get ready, O Israel, because I return, I return. But before this, I am going to cleanse my house. I am going to cleanse my church. And anyone who is not strong in me and who is playing with me will be cast outside. All the chaff will be cut off and thrown into the fire. I will cleanse my house. And that day you will know that I am not mocked. Woe! Woe, woe, watch the great woe coming to the earth, because I am going to touch the earth. It will be all shaken. Whole cities will disappear. A great earthquake as has never happened in all the world, because I am going to touch the earth, and it will be shaken. The earth will be shaken to such an extent that the mountains will be moved from their place. Times of darkness, great grief, anguish, and gnashing of teeth come to the earth soon. And he said, Look, son, the ball of fire that is to come, because it comes already. I am asking for, and very soon it will have arrived. Write that the midnight hour of that terrible day will soon arrive. It will be seen in the sky, but men will think that it is a star. But it is not a star, my son. It is a meteor. It is my sword coming. Record and write that it will hit the Atlantic Ocean at two in the morning. The impact will be so great that the earth is going to stop revolving. And yes, it will raise a great tsunami never seen before in all the earth. Write that at six in the morning it will come to the coast of Brazil and its coast in the Atlantic. The coast of Brazil will be completely erased. Nothing will remain in place. In all Brazil, three cities will be the most affected cities. Sao Paulo is on its way to disappear from the map. Rio de Janeiro will be shattered. And Fortaleza will be engulfed by the wave's force. Tell my people to enter and remain in my presence. Because he who stays in my presence will be saved. Tell my people to cry out for mercy, because the blood will reach the canela, and they will trip even on the dead, because there will be thousands upon thousands. And he said, Record and write that in Brazil there will be millions of dead. Many will be saved by the cry of my people. When the judgment arrives, I will keep those who are mine, as I did in Egypt when I smote the firstborn, and many will remember that they were warned in early morning's dreams. Others will be taken to a safe place. Others will be warned in advance, as I did with Lot, who was warned by the angels. Others will die, because they will not endure the trials and will not survive. 
Others I will come to gather to me before this happens. But all I will purify as silver is purified, and will try them as gold is tried. Then my church will be all holy, and great wonders and signs will be done by her. A Great and Last Harvest I do this out of love for my church, for those who are sleeping, and for all my faithful sheep who have been deceived by wolves. There will be churches which the earth will swallow that night with all its members. Many pastors will be swallowed that night, because they have preached a gospel that is not mine, and have turned my blessings into trade. I myself will execute during all this all the false prophets, false apostles, and all those who play with me. I am God, and the earth will know that I am not a God to be mocked. If I did not do this, only a very small flock would enter my kingdom. You must say to everyone that they must begin to save water and food, those who can, because there will be scarcity. Others I myself will provide for, just as I did with Elijah in the desert. And after these things I will come for my holy church. Brethren, God has confirmed all that he told me. He has revealed not only to me, but to many of his servants, that a tremendous judgment comes upon the earth before the great tribulation. This judgment is the worst part of the beginning of sorrows described by Jesus. A few weeks later, the Lord showed me in a vision the meteor that is coming as confirmation. I saw it, beloved. It comes at high speed. Soon it will have arrived. Our Lord Jesus is angry, and just as he purified the temple, he will cleanse his house his church. God bless you all. Shalom. Natan Rocha, Brazil.